Hey guys, welcome back to High Yield Intraday Trading. I hope everyone of you is doing good. So before we start discussing today's topic, let me request you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button here. Once you click on it, you will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner. Post you subscribe to my channel. Also make sure to press the bell icon and click on all. You will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner so that whenever I upload a video, you get the notification about the same without any misses. Also, I would request request you all to subscribe to my telegram channel with the name HYIT intraday calls because I share a lot of things over there and it might be helpful to you in some way or the other all right so before we start with today's discussion please allow me to mention about an offer that will reduce your capital requirements for trading various segments like the NSE futures and the MCX futures Okay, talking about the NSE features, you can trade contracts like Nifty, Bank Nifty, SGX Nifty, etc. with just 6,000 rupees for one lot. Whereas in MCX, you can trade one lot of crude oil, copper, natural gas, etc. for just 4,000 to 6,000 rupees. Okay, for gold and silver, it will cost you around 10,000 rupees per lot. And not only this, you will be happily surprised when you get to know the other features that are being offered. I can't give you all the details here as there are many, but I will surely share all the details post you get in touch with me. In today's scenario, if you want to trade one lot of crude oil, you need to have a minimum of 1.6 lakhs as your capital. That is 1 lakh 60,000. Similarly, for Nifty, for just one lot, you need to have at least 1 lakh as your capital. Now replace 1.6 lakhs with 4,000 to 6,000 rupees and 1 lakh with 6,000 rupees. It does make a lot of difference to a retail trader like you and me, right? So that's the help I want to extend or offer. And if you are interested, then you can get in touch with me on the details that are being shown on the screen and we can take it forward. A very good afternoon guys i hope everyone of you might be having a really nice weekend with your friends and family uh well i was actually having a look on the charts and i saw some opportunities uh that can be traded so thought of sharing that on this video so let's go ahead and have a quick look on two of the stocks that i found to be having the chances of moving nicely in the near future okay so there are two stocks one on the buying side and the other is on the selling side so let me go ahead and hit the chart and explain you the technicals or the reasons why i'm suggesting you to trade these stocks and why exactly do they have more chances to move in their respective directions yeah so moving on to the charts Right, so the first one, the first talk that I would like to explain here is Siemens, as you can see on the top left corner, okay? And this is the one day time frame for Siemens and I'm expecting uh, a buy move. I'm expecting this stock to be moving up in the near future, okay? So the red zone that you see here is uh, a resistance zone and the green zone that you see here is the support zone. So what exactly do you see the moment you have a look on the chart? Now, the first thing that you see here is the latest candle that was made in the last trading session, that is uh, on yesterday, Friday, 4th of November 2022. It has actually breached the resistance level and has closed above it. Okay, and if you have a look on the lower end of the chart, it has breached the resistance with a high volume. Okay, this was not a normal volume. This was a high volume with which the resistance has been breached. That is point number one, right? Let me bring in the pencil here just a moment. Next, the point number two is you see a trend line here, right? And this guy has been making higher highs and higher lows, which again tells us that this guy or this script is in a bearish uh, uh, like is uh, sorry it is in a bearish phase right it is in an uptrend because it has been making higher highs and higher lows right now what is so special about the higher highs and the higher lows that this particular stock is making 
well let me go ahead and explain that to you okay now when this high high was made what what some what can you summarize from here because you have a resistance zone at the upper side and a support zone at a lower side and this high high was made exactly somewhere in between these two zones so it is normally not possible for us to make an anticipation whether the stock will go up or it will go down right now in this case it came down right so it made a low here exactly at the support zone and then it again made another higher high that is here now this high high was also not a proper place of taking a buy trade even though the stock was in a in an uptrend because this high high was made inside the resistance zone so unless and until the resistance has been breached we should not be taking up a trade right so this high high was also not that important for us and then the stock again came down again bounced up from the trend line and this time it again made another high high here again this high high was not able to breach the resistance zone it closed within the resistance zone within the red zone that you see here right so this was also not a proper point to go ahead and initiate a buy trade and what happened after that again it fell down and as you can see it is taking a support again exactly at the trend line and again moved up and this was the latest high that has been made post breaching the resistance zone right so it has it had tried to breach the resistance two times right one this time at the another point was at this time so this was point number one when it tried to breach the resistance zone and this was point number two when it tried to breach the resistance and it was on the third attempt that it actually breached the resistance and has closed above the resistance okay so this makes it a, uh, makes it a candidate wherein we can anticipate that this guy can easily go up further okay now till what point can it go up i'll just cover it in, in a while okay now the next point which i want to make here is why when can you take the entry well you can take the entry immediately when the market opens on monday okay because again the reason being this uh the point where it has closed right so this is the point where it has closed in the last trading session right so this point is not far away from this particular support zone now this red zone was a resistance zone till it was not breached by this candle now that the candle has breached and closed above it this red zone which was a resistance zone earlier has become a support zone now okay that is why i mentioned support zone so the closure of the latest candle is not far away from the support zone so the difference is really very less right so this range is really very less okay just a moment yeah so this range is really very less for a script which is uh, which is at a price of 2900 or maybe around 3000 rupees right so this move is not is not much far away from the support zone so that makes it and very uh, that makes it a very ideal candidate to take up a trade almost immediately when the market opens okay so you can the entry point will be anywhere here okay in between the upper pink line and the lower pink line you can take an entry anywhere in between this okay now this was your entry where will be your stop loss well uh, either you can put your stop loss at this swing low as you can see here so this can be your stop loss put it here i would say because if you put the stop loss here it will be a bit far away okay so let's have this as the stop loss so let me write it down so this will be your entry right this will be your stop loss 
and this will be your target let me just draw it so have your target somewhere here okay so we are expecting this uh, guy to be moving up further without any uh, much struggle okay so it should reach up to the target within a couple of days okay so these where the price action moves that uh, uh, like uh, seeing seeing these things uh, i am anticipating that siemens will go up in near future and you can trade it really well all right so this was about siemens guys okay now uh next going on to the next script that is lalpath lab okay let me bring back the cursor right now this guy uh, i am bearish on this guy so we can go ahead and short this guy we can initiate a sell trade now let me explain this again okay so i'm so sorry about this let me put my phone on mute just a moment guys all right i'm sorry just a moment Oh, mute it up, buddy. Okay, right. So this is Lalpath Labs again, a one-day time frame of Lalpath Lab. And the moment you see the chart, what you should notice is this red zone that you see here is a resistance zone, and Lalpath Lab has been trying to breach this particular resistance level since a long, long time. Right. So. It tried reaching it here. Let me make it a darker color. Yeah, it tried breaching it here. It tried breaching it here. It tried breaching it here. Again, it tried breaching breaching it here. So four times, I would say five times. This can also be considered. Okay. So five times it tried breaching the resistance, but it was insuperable in breaching it. And finally, it has started move moving down. Okay, so what can be summarized out of here? Well, let me explain one more thing as well. So you can consider this as to be a double top or a triple top as well. Okay, just a moment. Right, so if you consider this point, this point and this point, they are making a triple top. So triple top is a pattern which tells us uh, or using which we can anticipate that the stock might come down, right? So it is making a double top as well and it is making a triple top as well. That is point number two, okay? So what you can do here is you can initiate a short trade almost immediately. Again, the reason is that uh, the script has actually not traveled much lower from the resistance level. So this is the range that it has traveled from here to here which is not really a big range. If you consider the script price, it is a 2,600 uh, script price that we are talking about, right? So this range is really not big. So if you want, you can actually initiate the trade, the sell trade almost immediately in the next trading session, okay? Now, one thing that you need to consider here is this swing low. You see this swing low, right? So this swing low, can act as a support so what i mean to say here is when the script prices come down till this level okay it might be the case that it might go up for some time or it might consolidate for some time and then it starts falling again like this okay so be careful about this this pink line that is the swing low the recent swing low it can work uh, work as a support okay but seeing the present scenario seeing the kind of resistance this guy has been facing i don't think this uh, swing low will uh, sustain itself okay what i think is it can easily breach this swing low and it can start moving down further that is what i'm anticipating okay so just have an eye on this particular swing low and if that is breached all right you can surely expect a good a good down move 
okay so talking about the entry again as i said you can immediately take the entry somewhere here right so this will be your entry right your stop loss will be here i'm sorry just a moment let me bring in the pencil yeah your stop loss will be here at this point just above the recent swing high so this is the swing high right Place a stop loss just above the recent swing high, and your target can be here. Take this as a target. Okay. Right? So this is your entry, this is your stop loss, this is your target. Alright. So again, just to repeat real quick, huge resistance is being faced by Lalpat Labs at this particular red zone. As a result of which we are anticipating that it will fall further. The only thing that we need to make sure is about this particular level, this swing low. It might be the case that when it reaches this price level, it might uh, go up for a while or it might start consolidating for, for a while. But as I said, more are the chances that this swing low will be breached without much uh, support or without much struggle. And we can expect this stock to be moving down like this okay so the, these are the two stocks that i wanted to uh, discuss with you guys okay and i have explained all the reasons why i think that siemens will go up and why i think that lalpath lab will come down all right so you can take up your trade accordingly and uh, we will see what needs to be done next all right so that's all from mine guys and for the guys who have not subscribed or uh, for the guys who have not watched my previous video i have put in the video card on the top right corner of the video the i symbol that you see there you can click on it and watch my previous video and as always we request you all to like and subscribe to my youtube channel and also please do not miss the ending of this video as you will get some more information about hyit that might be helpful to you in some way or the other and please feel free to ask your questions and queries if any in the comment section and i will surely reply back to them and also please please do not forget to like this video if you liked it okay so that's all from my end and i'll see you all later hope you all will stick back happy trading and take care of yourselves bye bye